So Spike Lee's Do the Right Thing is one of the most critically acclaimed films of all time, and it's a perfect choice for my first uh, Black History Month Why video. It was nominated for two Oscars, is rated 8 out of 10 on IMDb, has a 93% meta score, and it's also certified fresh on Rotten Tomatoes with a 93%. It's talked about by scholars and film buffs around the world, and yet there are still some people who probably hate this film. And if I were to guess, I'd say it all boils down to its central themes of racial injustice. Anytime race is the topic of a film, it sparks debate. And while I'd like to believe most of us watching this video would agree that it is a problem in our society still today, there are some who probably do feel otherwise. And Do the Right Thing challenges those who feel otherwise. Its depictions in social commentary make some viewers uncomfortable, especially the on-screen images towards the end of the movie. Regardless how you feel, there may be one thing you may be asking yourself. So, to provide some context, Mookie is a young black man in Brooklyn, New York. He works for Sal, who owns a pizzeria. Sal considers Mookie as a son, and they have a decent relationship for the most part. However, towards the end of the film, Mookie's friend Radio Rahim gets into an altercation with Sal at his pizzeria, and it turns physical. Ultimately, the fight gains the attention of the police and unfortunately leads to the death of Radio Rahim. The streets are in chaos as mobs begin to form and Mookie then decides to use a trash can to break the window of Sal's pizzeria, effectively starting a riot. Now, the age-old question becomes why did Mookie do this, especially to Sal, someone who in a sense looked out for him, someone of their own community. Some theories suggest he did this to divert the mob from Sal and potentially the police so no one else gets seriously hurt. However, Spike Lee makes it clear that this wasn't his intention when writing the film. So there's no question Mookie is an extension of Spike Lee and possibly a lot of other young black men or ethnic minorities in America. What's so powerful about the film is that there are groups of people who completely understand why he broke the window without the film even needing to spell it out for us. They understand the frustration, anger, and sadness that comes with the feeling of injustice. Yet, there are also groups of people who don't understand at all, and are prompted to ask why. Why would he damage the property of someone he considered a friend? It's obvious where Lee's stance was for Mookie, but the film is called Do the Right Thing for a reason. It should be looked at as a question of sorts. According to Mookie and Spike Lee, in their minds, I'm sure it was the right thing. But was it really? We can argue all day long about whether or not Mookie did the right thing. But to be honest, that's exactly what we're supposed to do. So maybe Mookie's actions are both right and wrong. It all depends on your perspective. Is he an aimless black man looking to incite a riot? Or is he a black man angry his friend just died and felt like this was the only way his voice could be heard? An act of frustration that turns into shattering a window. Whether you agree or disagree with his actions towards the end of the film, one thing is for certain, it doesn't really matter what we think. And to me, this is where the film's brilliance lies, because it's at this moment we realize perhaps its greatest motif, opposing perspectives. For example, hot and cold, black and white, right and wrong, love and hate. These are all motifs used to complement the film's greatest theme, which is racial injustice in the black community. But also, 
how divided our country was and still is in terms of our perspectives on dealing with racial injustice. The film even ends with two contrasting quotes from Martin Luther King and Malcolm X. This is an effective use of the motif because it even shows two people sharing a common goal can have opposing perspectives on how to achieve it. In my opinion, the culmination of all of the motifs and themes are most blatantly displayed towards the end of the film with the conversation between Mookie and Sal. It's an exchange between two men from two different backgrounds with opposing perspectives on the events that just unfolded. And after their conversation, nothing is really resolved. I believe Lee purposely leaves the film open-ended so us, the audience, can discuss and exchange our own dialogue about the film and the events that occurred. What I like about the title is that everyone has their own interpretation of what is the right thing. Not only in the audience, but the characters in the film too. Because like the characters, audiences have and still do hold opposing perspectives when it comes to the actions of the film. But more importantly, we still hold opposing perspectives on racial injustice in real life. The film aims to bring light to a pretty important aspect of our society. I think he understood that if he could get people to ask why Mookie did what he did, it would at least prompt conversation in hopes of at least hearing each other's perspectives. In my opinion, this is the entire point of the film, to get us talking not just about if Mookie did the right thing, but why you think he did or didn't. I would love to go to theaters all across the country and watch the film, sit in the back, hat down, and then stand out in the lobby and listen to the debates and the arguments. Do the Right Thing, in my opinion, is one of the greatest cinematic works of art to come out within the past century. It's a film that is written from the heart about issues that still plague many of us today. It's not a perfect film from a technical aspect or performance standpoint, but it's pretty close. The little it may lack technically is made up for in authenticity. Spike Lee's direction style is showcased in its full form here as it offers a creative and unique approach to storytelling. I can honestly say I hadn't seen too many films like it and it still feels fresh even till this day. All of these factors are why I have to give Do The Right Thing a 9.6 out of 10. As always, this is just my opinion, however, and only one way to interpret this film. Let me know how you feel about it in the comments below. Do you think Mookie did the right thing? Why or why not? Let me know, and as always, thanks for the support. The channel is growing, and I can't thank you guys enough for that. For those of you who haven't already joined, please hit that subscribe button and sit back and watch as I provide my takes on your guys' favorite movies.